hello to all and welcome back to War Thunder Aviation. Now for this week I decided not to do a should you get and do a little fly out in the humble, the nimble, the I-16. Now this little aircraft is incredibly cute and well if the smart car was an aircraft it would be this. But looks can be deceiving and this little aircraft has got some teeth. I mean, it can't die very well, it isn't very fast, it isn't very durable, and it can't retain energy very well, but God knows this thing rolls and turns with the best of them. In fact, this thing will easily outturn Spitfires, and, in some circumstances, can even outturn Zeros. Not to mention, with two 20mm cannons and two 7.7 machine guns on the front, if you're foolish enough to try and turn with this thing, then, well... You'll often blow up, as that P-40 just demonstrated. But, either way, let's go after that second P-40. Yeah, I mean, I do have the energy, but I'm not very good at diving, unfortunately. Oh, an A-20G. No, he's a bit fast, really. Oh well, back onto that P-40. Ah, that 153's going for him. Well, I mean, you know, he's doing a good job and all, but... Yeah, no, that P-40's getting away, really, so... We best do his job for him, and... Oh my god, that's a hawk! Uh, oh, got a critical! Let's go off and deal with that hawk. There you go, the kill. Very nice. And as you can see, that's the turning speed of the I-16 coming into effect there. And we go straight back onto the hawk. And this hawk is actually doing quite well at turning us, that's probably because he has a energy advantage. But, oh, mind the building. And there he goes, knocking the pilot unconscious. And there you go, three kills in about a minute. Not too shabby. But I'm just going to go over and shoot at some ground targets for a bit. So uh, I'll get back to you once I've uh, done shooting at innocent ground targets and I've found some more aircraft to get into jolly dogfights with. Be right back. And we're straight back into the scruff as I go for a head-on with a Spitfire. Yeah, come on then, you think you're all that, do ya? Let's go on for a head-on, yeah, and second thoughts, I'm not going to go for head-on. I mean, I am in an I-16, and these things are about as durable as soggy tissue. And yeah, he gets a cheeky clip on me, so I get a cheeky clip back on him. And then he comes back around for another pass, as I nimbly dodge out of the way. And then he tries to go for a scissor, no idea why he tried that that close to the ground, and inevitably ends up in his death. And to be honest, I think his aircraft was a lot more upgraded than mine, this thing's practically stock at this point in time. And because of that, he may have even been able to outturn me and kill me, but, you know, I'm not going to complain, I got the kill, everything is happy. So at this point in time, I'm just going to go shoot at some ground targets for a bit, you know, just the standard uh, stuff. Ground targets are worth a lot of points in this game, and I think a lot of people don't realise that, and never go for them, you see. But just as I was going around, I noticed that it's only me and this other yak left on our team against three enemies. So I think, well, you know, it's, it's best that I do what's the right thing to do, and go help my yak friend. I mean... My ammo's not great at this moment in time, it's about about halfway through it. But either way, that yak needs my help. He's trying to turn fight Spitfires, you know, there's no way he's going to win that one, even in a yak. So that's why I've decided that I am committed. I am going to take out that Spitfire and save his life, because, you know, I'm a good guy like that. I like respecting teams, and I'm going to kill that Spitfire, it's the last thing I do, you know? And, oh, oh, he died. Well, I mean, you know, when I say kill, I meant it more as an optional thing, you know, I mean, it is a Spitfire after all, and we really, uh, we're low on ammo, and my fuel's about to run out, so I need to head back to base. <coughs> yeah, that's right. But anyway... Uh, I'm just going to head back to base, and indeed he's uh, pulled off me there, thank god. I mean, um, yeah, he better run. I mean, I would have completely destroyed him. Yeah. But either way, on my way back to base, I notice there was one of their team in an A-20G flying around shooting ground targets. 
And, well, as you can see, he's flying around shooting these ground targets, and then this happens. And I have absolutely no idea why that happened. Did he just kill himself because he saw I was coming? Or did that happen because he's just a bad pilot? I've got no idea. But, oh well, doesn't matter. That's one less enemy to worry about, if you ask me. But anyway, I'm just going to quickly skip forward here to uh, when I landed. Uh, but first, let's go under this bridge. How low can you go? I'm not going to go that low. Jesus, I'm the last man left. I can't afford to waste a time like that. Uh, I'm such a wuss. But either way, I'm just going to go and quickly land, and uh, you'll see the weird things that occurred when that happened. So here I am, landing on the runway, and uh, did you know that you can actually push yourself back with these guns? This aircraft is so light, you actually just push yourself back when you fire them. How adorable is that? Uh, but either way, uh, you'll see at the bottom right of the screen that there is an SPD shooting ground target, right? And you'll notice they're just doing that, you know, like they do. It's a ground attack aircraft, what do you expect? And then the Spitfire crashes, and earlier I said there was three enemies left, there's actually four, I do apologise for getting that wrong. But yeah, so the Spitfire crashes, I've no idea why, uh, but that leaves now only two enemy aircraft left. Um, and just as I'm quickly taking off here, and just looking around, making sure there's no enemies near me and what have you, I uh, just go for a quick takeoff here, this thing takes off very quickly, and look, the SBD-3 crashes as well. So I've gone from a 4 to 1 game, to a 1 to 1 game, and now there's only me and a Spitfire left, and that's just... I have no idea what happened to this team. And that means if you even include that kill I got when the enemy crashed into the ground, that means that there's been... that's like four enemy kills that have basically just been them crashing into the ground, because they don't know how to fly, I guess. <laughs> Which is bizarre. Um, but either way, uh, I'm just going to once again fly on up here into the sky, trying to figure out where this Spitfire is, the last enemy on their team. You know, I'm hoping that they're going to be low, so I'm flying towards their base quickly, because I saw they were going back uh, for their runway. I think that was the one that was chasing me for a bit and then gave up. Yeah, I think it's the same guy, might not be, I, I don't know. But either way, I'm flying up here, trying to find them. And then, uh, as you will soon see, I get a rather nasty surprise. And indeed, as you can see up there, there is a black dot of something, so I decide to fly away, and it is indeed the last enemy on their team. I mean, I knew Spitfires were decent at climbing, but I didn't actually think they were that fast. Uh, God, it, it, they are quite good. But either way, that is a Spitfire with an energy advantage over me. Which means that not only is this aircraft faster, it now also has an energy advantage. So I'm going to have to use a bit of the old British wit to figure this one out. Hmm... So, at this point, I think I might have an idea. I'm going to go and fly back over my base in the hope that if he sees me going to try and get AA cover, he will dive down quickly to try and take me out before I get the chance. Uh, so then I can turn off and try to have a turn fight against him. Uh, which doesn't appear to be doing anything. No, he's, he's still keeping... yeah, he's sort of still keeping altitude, really. Hmm... Okay, well, not to worry. I'm gonna go down quickly. Try and get him. Is he coming down? Yeah, sort of is, but he's sort of not. Alright, time for plan B. He, if he's gonna stay high, I'm gonna bait him down. Now, Spitfire's a pretty well-built aircraft, and they've got pretty good G-tolerance, but they're not immortal, and if he tries to dive at me from that altitude, he's going to rip himself apart. And here he comes, foolishly trying to attack me. And I'm just going to quickly do a turn around, so then he won't be able to have guns on me. And turn again. So then there's no way he's got a chance. I hear him just fly over me there. And there he goes. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to kill a Spitfire without firing a single shot. And that's actually my fifth kill of the game. I know I didn't get the kill for it, but you know, I was the one who baited him down. I was the one who made him rip his wings off. That's a kill in my book, and that is the end of the game. And what a great game it was. Really good fun, and all thanks to the nimble little I-16, the aircraft enemies love to underestimate. But, as I fly on here, I noticed his pilots are parachuting out, and, well, they're free game till they hit the floor, if you ask me. <laughs> Let's just give him what for here. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. And that is all for today. So, if you like what you saw, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's always appreciated. And until next time, I say thank you very much, and I'll see you then.